I want to welcome you to Avalon's Hills Third Reich. I'm Magican, and this game is a grand strategy game of Europe and also a little bit of Northern Africa and most of Russia. But this game is a old game, it's from 1992. I'm playing it on my Amiga and this is a quite fun game. It's not that you have to go into all the details, it's not that difficult to go into, but there is still some things that if you do not know can be really irritating, but if you know them it's really good. Uh, I like this game, I played it when uh, many years ago and it was it was easy to go into, but still there were still things I learned along the way and probably still things I can learn today. It's been a while since I played this game, uh, so maybe I'm a little rusty in the beginning, but let's see what's going on here. First, have the game configuration, you have a possibility or choice to uh, enforce deployment limits. That's the main game it has that in. And that means that instead of just putting all the troops in one area or areas where you want to put them, in different areas you want to put them, you have to follow the games, especially in the beginning, that's some rules where you have to put units there. And I think it's really good to hold the, the strategic level of the game. Then you can choose to play allies or axe. And allies is of course Russia, USSR, even French in the beginning here, if you want to choose 39, and all the campaign game. And then you can have the Britain and the United States. The United States actually in the game, but and you will also see the troops, but you will not see the land because it's it's over here in the west and it's not available to play with. But the land but the troops are there and then I will play as axe I like the land areas and the allies have a lot of land, land uh, water and of course when Russia goes into the game there's also a lot of land I will let the allies be computer then you can set the speed if I set this normally when I play I set the speed to 1 it goes really fast even at 4 and 5, it's quite fast when you play on this uh, computer. When you play on Amiga, you always want to play on 2 or 1 because that was really, really slow. So um, I would play on 5 because you can see where the units are put. They still have to be a little bit... Think of how they put them there, 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 because it's it goes a little bit fast anyway. And then you can choose to play the scenario of 1939, 1942, 1944 or the campaign game. The campaign game I always choose that because that's uh, from the beginning and you can say oh 39 but the campaign is trying to follow the rules of the campaign and that will bring it at quite good. I will um, I can have the sound on it's actually it's just a little bit of noise but let's put that it's not sound, it's mostly uh, music when it uh, loads in for the computer and have the, the one to be like thinking. And this is not the way they're thinking, it's just the moving speed. The thinking is still going on. Let's just remove the sound here. And um, no, I will bring it on. If it gets too irritating, I will remove it. You can do that later, but but I think it's quite good anyway to have that. It's it's. It's playing, playing, playing sound, but still, it's Amiga sound. It's quite good, and you just to have the sound in the game, so you see how it is r real. Everything is on in this playthrough here. Initial setup for 1939. The computer will set up for Poland, France, Britain, United, uh, the USSR, not the United States. It will bring that in later, and I have to set up for Italy and Germany. And you can see here. They are waiting, and I will press a key on the keyboard, and they will put them in. You can see that it goes quite fast anyway, and they put them in like this. And here you have Italy, 4th, 1939. The base that's a production, what they have to produce, and this is what we can use this turn. This is deployment limit we're talking about. The growth rate above that is means that how much they get a year and the growth rate is only 20% higher so it's not that fast they cannot grow that much and the one with most growth rate is actually the United States they have 60% and then Germany has 50 but the deployment limits means I have to put troops in Albania and Libya 
And what about these troops? This means that this infantry troops and it has one attack, one defense. Well, just one attack, one defense, it's the same. And then three movement. Here you've got three attack and defense and three movement. And here you've got two. The Panzer was not that good for the Italian troops, but they can move five. And then you have the ships. That's nine ships in each group. That's four groups. The Italian has a lot of ships. The air, the the fighters or the bombers or what, it's it's mixed in. They have five in each, and then they can attack and have a surrounding of four. That means if you say Rome, then can one, two, three, four. If this Gino has attacked, they can actually intercept. They can also attack if there's something going on there. To get to this map, or so you do not have to minimize all that, you right click on this area and then it goes out. To put in the troops, we have to do that. We can put it in here, and or like one there too, and one here too near. You can see they can actually attack this one, uh, because they got three. Sometimes they put in Genoa, so they can only attack with one unit here, and go in, and then attack with two if they want to take two in there. Let's just put two in Albania. Let's do this, and I will put them in a capital, and I will go down to Libya, and let's put them in here. So now I've actually followed this, and I will also put the biggest troops in here. And this, no, if you are chosen one that you will not use, and you're like, oh, I will not use it, I cannot, what? Then go up in this area here, left click, and it's removed. Not right click, because that that's just happened. So choose it again and put it where you want it. I actually want it. Because right click and then move. No, nope, it's fine here. I want it there. Because if the French is going to do something extra, you can see that's five points for that area, Tunisia. Then you can take this to one, two, three, four, and five and attack that. That's quite good. The ships. Toronto, there, we'll put that two in there. And Messina, I'll use them a little bit aggressively if I can, but it's not always you can. Then you can take the fighters. And you cannot put them in areas where it's white. You can put them in areas where there's a town like this, or just a, a dot of a town, then it's fine. But to to use it, in these white areas, you can press the question mark and put the airfield, air base there, and put that, and then put one in. Why there? Because it can move, attack one, two, three, four, and if they want to attack here, then this will intercept. And then I'll bring it up into Rana. There we go. In Albania, of course. And then we have used all the, all the units. I'll just say exit. And then they'll bring in from the French troops. You can see the fortification there, in the areas, and the mountains, there we go. They can actually attack in the campaign mode. They can still go in and say, oh, we attack Greece, we attack Sweden, we attack Turkey, we attack what we want. They will cost points, but they can do that. Normally, they, they just go to uh, Sweden or Finland and take areas there. Maybe sometimes they also take uh, uh, Greece. It's it's different. It's it depends in this campaign here, but it's quite nice. You can see the Russian has a lot of troops, a lot of men, but they were not that strong in the beginning there. Let's see here and the ships, of course. There we go. And now to the German troops. Look at that growth rate there. There is a deployment limit. That means that these 20 ground or air factory units in H2 uh, Eastern Front. Else that will be a little bit problematic. I'll just do that here. I'll put these in. And I will use all the panzers. And let's just put this in.
dense, it cannot be used, but let's just use an airfield. That's the close I could get. One. And then these three or four, sorry. Bonn, Frankfurt, Stuttgart, and this. Why do this when they were only attacking here? That's because they can probably take Luxembourg and want to take Luxembourg. They're not following the, all the rules there, so that's why. Here, Germany starts fall 1939. I can actually say, okay, it's actually paying off offensive. If I go offensive here, look, it costs 15 every time. Attrition does not. Attrition can actually bomb the areas, but in the beginning you do not have that much. I can also choose to go to war against Denmark or Yugoslavia, but you can see cost. And in the beginning, you actually have quite a large force. If I press here, this one, you will just go back and have two. But if you press here and press F here, you will actually see the pool allowed to buy. They can actually buy these troops. And that's the French, and this is England, they got 62, they can buy all that, ships quite expensive, but still. And the United States also have troops, but they will of course not go join the war before or later. And the Russians have that possibility, and the Germans have to look at that, a lot of infantry troops and panzers. And this is actually airborne units, so I'll just show you next time, let's just, and that's the Italian troops. That's just it. And there we go. I can choose to go in and attack different areas, Luxembourg, but it will cost. I will not do that. I will let them be. And they also did that. It was only on the Eastern Front in the beginning. Italy, I'll just let it stand and not do anything. Maybe attrition there. Not using any points. We need them for the army. And now we got the movement phase. That's a little bit special here because we need to attack. But you cannot just attack one and then move. You can move and attack like this. Left click and move one with left and right click to just let it be. And we could attack this one, but you have to wait next turn. And if I attack with that, I will only move the units in, and then I will not be able to attack before next turn. But the Panzer could do breakthrough. I will just show you later on again. And here, have these troops. You cannot do anything with them. It's just that they are. It's just exit, and then it's combat phase. And that's a little bit different. Let's just say we attack this one, and we attack it with all these troops, and then attack. They normally put in their fighters, as you saw that, they'll bring them in. They also got extra points for defending, and then just attack. If they go and re he's reach the north, uh, it, the, the first one, the number one there, E. X then will exchange. It will not exchange and move all the units away, but they will just say take what the points here, what there was, and they will not remove all. Then it will be the attacker losing. Look at this. I use two panzers. I have to use two panzers if I want to have a breakthrough, because that's a breakthrough. And I will just say exit for that. An exploration phase. Then you can press the B. And then you can see there's two, it actually turns blue and can use them. So you have to look at them when you do that, because it can also be other areas where you try to do this. And now everything is breaking through and they are ready for the attack next time. Now it's actually movement, I can move them, but only two, but I will not do that of course, because I need to attack. And now there's combat, I will choose this one and choose these. And now you can see why I chose this area here, I could just chosen the, the the western front, why that? because I need the last one here, look at that, 1 to 3 that's 27, I could just press 4 instead, but let's just do this and then attack and they lost all that's nice I'm 
pole has been conquered. There we go. So we've got 20 points. That's actually quite good. Let's just exit. We cannot do anything. Then there's unit construction. And this one is actually paratroopers. It can be used, and you don't have to have fighters to to get them over. They are in this area, but they cost quite a lot, eight or ten or fifteen or something. I will not do that. I will use these one. These are actually garrison units. They cost only one, and then some panzers. Another panzer, and then these two. I do not want to have any planes right now. I will just keep it as these troops. And I can bring these in. One, two, one, one. And then Berlin, two. No, I will not bring that. This one, not good enough. I'll just use this to protect the area. That's a good question where I should put this. Yeah, I do not really know the last one here. It has been a while since I played this, and I will not bring them in there. That will not be that good. Okay, let's just place it here. Yeah, that's a little bit weird, but let's do that. And then we have these. Maybe the panthers first. Of course, we need breakthrough in this also. Let's do that. This and that and that. And let's just take these. One, one. Maybe I should not do have done this. Let's just bring that away. And we have some troops we can deploy. This one there, that's why I removed that other one. There we go. Let's move this. And that's what the Germans can do. Here, that's Italy. I normally take the fleet because this does not cost that much. The fleet cost so that 27. And these ones are good. And then I could get these two. You can see that's only 4 points plus, I think it's 6 or something. So it's better to do this. Let's bring it there, and then we can put one in each to Rome, so we do not get that surprise attack. And there we go, on these. Okay, let's just... these two units here so we can have them over here that's nothing strategic redeployment then 
I can move them over land and water, but I have to, if water, I have to, uh, like this, take this one, put that up there, and you choose a ship. You can see get blue, this one up there, and choose a ship. Okay, that's, I can also choose these down here. There we go. And they got over there, you saw. Okay, I do not think we have to move all these units, of course. That's the panzer. Two, three, four. No, I don't think I have to put them down there. I want to have this to work quite well, and I need to have twenty here, else that would be trouble. But I will bring these in, these fighters in. There we go, and these two. There. And that, there we go. That's all the troops I can muster now and get. Maybe I could just. Let's see, I can move that. Let's move this over there and then just exit. Now it's the French at the fall. They are attacking something. Luxembourg, look at that. Italy, Greece. They did take Greece and even Italy. But they cost money. Oh, points, production points. Let's just do this. The Russians can also attack Finland, Sweden. Also, the Baltic. Whoa, they went for a lot there. And this. Oh, Sweden is under attack now. Oh, they got some ships also. Let's see what we can do now. That's what I meant by the music. It's just a little small music there. They took Luxembourg. They took Riga there. That's 15 points. They're moving up north. Going to attack. They're trying to get in with ships. And there too. Okay. They're going to try to use the ships. Let's do that too. Let's just defend. Naval off. Naval three. And we will not probably have look at that. Even with Max Max here yeah, two. That's okay, but it will not work that much. At least one, and they did not lose anything. I could just defend. And let's hope we are getting exchange. Attackers losing, not defend. That this is attacker. All the attackers. There was only two, but they they lost. So they are trying to go to Sweden instead. There. And this is their production. You can see the growth rate of France is 30%. Not that low, but still not that high either. Oh, they have a lot of panzers there. And uh, Britain is actually 40%, just 10% lower than Germany. And then they can also do the same, moving troops around here. That's not bad. Oh, they put friends down there. They actually can do that. And they are also at war, so that's fine. 
that's why I put that panzer there. And French also takes the next turn, also Britain, in winter time. They actually take both turns. They are attacking Norway. And they could have done that on the war, as I said there with the Churchill. They could have done that because uh, Churchill actually wants to go in here and stop the the whale of Swedish ore to Germany. And they wanted to stop them, and they probably did that. If want to do that, if uh, the Germans not have attacked and took all of it, so um, quite fast in it anyway. But the, this could have been a lot different. Maybe even the Russians come in, and they will help the fi the the French troops were actually going to help the Finnish troops because they thought they were really good, doing really great. So, uh, oh, the attackers is losing another enemy, uh, another unit. That was quite good there. And now they're just producing. You can see they can produce everything. And next turn they can produce everything again. So even that they lost them, they will get them back quite fast. And you can see here also with the Russian troops, they can nearly produce everything already. Look at that. There we go. And then that, and then next time they can do everything also, and then bring them up there north. And look at this, and down there. Whoa, that's a strong against Turkey, but it'll probably stay away. So they're just both taking the fall and the winter time, and then I probably get the prob uh, possibility to take the winter and the spring. And this, if this was a little bit slower in speed, it will take a lot of time. But still doing this, if I take one, you will just see it really fast. Nothing happened really, but just really good. Okay, let's just offense in the, the western front. And eastern attrition, I mean train attrition there. I could attack something else. I could go in and say, yeah, I want to attack Netherlands and Belgium. I can also just take one of them. But... I also want some points, so maybe just Netherlands to begin with. And I'll get that this turn, because I can also attack Luxembourg. Um, I could also go for Brussels right away. But we have a lot of troops we want to buy. But let's do that anyway. Let's see if we can just do this. And they're bringing in the, the troops there. They have to. And then I would just say yes to that. I could actually have used the French, uh, the Italian force, because we are now at war. I could have used them. You use attrition. And this, I will actually do that. And why is that? That's because that we have so many points, so it's not a problem. Now it's the movement phase. And I will just start with the easy ones first. Over here. That's one. Two, three, there. Nope. There we go. You can see Russian troops close in Sweden, even the tank. And you can see here in Netherlands, I can actually do this one. Wait a minute. I could also take the panzers and go down here and then make a breakthrough. I think I want to do that. There we go. Nope. 
that's what we can do there's also these units here but as you can see there's not not much room we need to break through here before we can do something um, so that's just the way we have to go that's moving turns let's see here we can do this one two three four and five and then Tunisia is conquered and here you can see oh that's troops there And then we've got the planes there. And that is what I can move. Let's just say exit to that move. And now it's combat phase. And down here in the Mediterranean, I can just press on this one. And look, it's because it's attrition, it's not combat. Is not offensive then I can ask this one and a hopeful no it did not give any points there so we did not lose anything and they did not lose anything at all that's a little bit but if you get more um, fighting you can uh, more troops and then you can actually get both industry and a lot of other things going on okay here we can go for Holland but we can also go for this one but they will bring in a lot of fighters that's why I want to take maybe Luxembourg here and then just bring this in and maybe not maybe take this as these three will not be able to work anyway and that's quite a good fight and then I can say attack and then we'll bring in planes and I will just do the same I'll bring in five planes and then attack and then we'll not what defense that was quite good and then offense okay we <laughs> we had both really bad numbers and then we're removing one. Oh no counter stack one that's the worst one then it means that Okay, they have counter-attack again. We have to have... Oh, exchange. That was not good either. But they have to remove three. And then I can bring in three also. I could have attacked with troops like these. But let's just try to get this one. And that's seven. And then say... five fighters and let's see they're not bringing anything in counter attack three. Oh no I'm really unlucky here but I was lucky in the other place so it's it's a matter of arts let's just remove one there and then bring in the panzer and that unit and then I have a chance to break a breakthrough I can also go and say attack this ground and then this one and this one and just now we can also try attack this and see how much we can get that's quite good but it's either we get these I can also about just attack this and not attack this one and then we we'll want everything uh, but I want to attack this one also Let's bring five in and attack. There we go. The fin that loses all. That was quite good. And there we go. And uh, that's. You can also just only one unit. It doesn't really matter. Let's attack with this. 
Now I used all the all the planes here. Attack. That's fine. It's two times. Counter attack two. Then we'll bring it. Exchange in top. Oh, come on. It's always exchange. Now I'm actually gonna lose a uh, a panzer. And then we'll take Brussels and we will get them. And I will not be able to make the breakthrough because yeah, we lost one of them. And I'll be able to attack this. Okay, they did that. They took that one. I'll be able to take a little bit also. And let's hope the defense will be bad. It's not. This is going to be tough. No, no, no. I'm losing more than they are. At least two. Let's get two. And they are going to lose one. And then it's just standard exchange. They're going to lose all units was lost in the fight there. And that's all I can do. I would like to take this, but I will do that later on, I hope. Let's exit. And then we got the exploration phase. I can do this. And look how many I can take in with this. That's actually four. I cannot bring those in. That's too far. One, two, one, two. This is one, two, three. So let's do that. And there's also movement. I can take movement and move them a little bit. There we go. I could take Yugoslavia and just do that to protect the line. And I still did not have any breakthrough here, so I need to do this. I could attack this and bring in all these units. But I could also just do this and bring in that, and then attack. Oh, they did that. Okay, that was not good. I can bring in some planes and defend. Attack, sorry. I need this air defense to be bad. I'm not good enough here. I need to go, oh, five, five six, we both. I'm losing mine and they're not losing theirs. Look at that. Okay, we got a change. That's okay. So we can actually move in because we can also attack. And then it's even. They have been really good with that air defense. And that's not good either. We we'll lose that ship, uh, that one. Then it's gonna be. It's. I should not have done that. Look at this. And we lost all both panzers with that little troop there. That was not good. That was really really bad. Did not know that they had all these planes, but they did. I knew. I could see it right, but still. Now we have all this. We can reduce. Let's get these fighters in, and then. So I could actually use the the Italian troops to attack instead. Or oh, not attack, but attack the Dutch and the Belgian border. So we are safe points. It's good that Brussels has this still, but I can put that then there. That's good. And then there. And these two. that and fight us maybe I will take them and bring in on these and put four more there and look at this I could actually ask at least one of them Just do 
this and that this one and that strategic deployment that's of course important I cannot put that there do we have full here one, two, yeah. I can put them there. And not there, but I could actually put them there. Of course, they cannot be put where there's enemies. So that's okay. One, two, three, maybe. This could go in one, two, three, four. That's not bad. Then this one can be put there. Fortune cannot get that there. This is fine. Nope. But I need the Italian troops to be ready to move. South here. And I need a fleet to bring that in. this one and that one let's do that exit now it's new year they are using destroyers to get our submarines and we can also if they get bombers we can use fighters I will bring in three of these and then the rest will be subs. Maybe I should pin seven subs and then just two of these interceptors. But it's good to have in a little longer run. And we are here again. Western we need to have offense on that. Eastern attrition, I mean terrain attrition. I will not attack more areas. I'll just say that. And maybe I could go offense in the Mediterranean, but it will use a lot of our points, so I will not do that. And then they have to follow Italy. You can see that they have to follow, but we could do that. And we can also say uh, other areas we can attack Denmark. But there's no troops here to take it, so let's just stay as it is. The problem is here that, yeah, we have too many points we cannot use. Now we have to move the units, and as I did last time, I will still, there we go, and love. And here we have a chance to break through the lines, one, two, three, and that's it. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And these. And 
this one. Two. Three and four. We can put them there. One, two, three, and four. And this. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. Maybe I can do something else. One, two, three, four. No. I cannot bring them in. One. Two. These. Fires can be brought in there, and I could do this. No, not this time. These five. One, two, three can be there. That's important. One, two, three, four to attack these. Look at that. That's a lot of fighters there. And let's go down here. One, two, three, four, five. And here, one, two, three. And one, one, two, three. I could actually have taken this, Suez. One, two, three. No, let's do this. Keep it that. One, two, three, four, five. No, nope, I did not control that. Getting off the turn. And this is what we have. Combat face. Let's just take down here again. Ten factors again. And we got one. They had to remove one unit. And they actually remove one in the Pacific there. Oh no. In the Red Sea, something around there. Pacific has <laughs> in the with the Japanese. Let's just attack ground units. There we go. That and then gather this and that again. And then these. Probably get a lot of these in. And then I'll bring more in. Two more I think will be enough. Hopefully our attack will be much higher. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we got five, five, so it's equal. Okay, we are trying to do it again. We have another, another roll. Yeah, that's much better. The BF is doing it quite well. I have to remove two. There we go. And now it's three to one. Counter attack three. That's do not put the change on. There we go. We got it. And then bring in this one and that one. That was a good one. And then we can attack this by using this, this 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 okay they did have some fighters left let's take all of three here and attack oh defensive air well not that good 
and we were better. And at least one out I need to remove. There we go. Counterattack three. That's not the first two, and the rest is good. Yeah, there we go again. Let's just do this. And nothing more. Exit. I just choose one. That's fine. It can be done. I could also attack this one by doing this. Oh, defenders lost. It was so close to the attack, I think. It was really... I think so. That's good. And let's exit. Of course, now we have these, this front here. They cannot go past it. Oh, two factors also again. You can see that's actually the same, even that it's a 10 and 2. I'm a little afraid of these over here. No, that's nothing. And you can also see down in the corner, you can see how many troops the different uh, countries have. And also the attrition resolution table, if you have a lot of dice, 1 to 10, 20, you can see that that's actually units and factories you can attack and you can also see down here city port capital objective fortress so they can have cities and ports you can have that capitals also objectives and then you can have fights fighters and planes there let's just attack and just say end now we do not have anything more to attack with breakthrough exploration there we go there should be two panthers This one. And this one. Let's just do that and exit again. Exit and then the ex movement. That could be moved up there. Move down there. attack by using this and attack they cannot do anything because there's just planes so we got them no I'll just stay here and not move that over there just do that unit construction we got a lot we can construct this time also but Let's just take these that we lost, and then and then all the planes. I'll take the one though. You can take two of those. Great. And we bring them in up here. There we go. And also these panzer. Put them there. And there. These of course will go over to the front where we lost them. Uh, probably there. That's good enough. And you can see Italy. But then we can grant to Germany because Italy do not have any more units left. So cheated redeployment, that's a good thing. Let's just do that. And then these. You can see I can actually go down in Slav or in uh, Bulgaria and Romania and deliver these troops. Mm, 
this one nope I cannot get them over there can do I can bring them in there I could also take these five over but I will not do that now probably need all the planes we need can have and take these three over here you can see that's actually possible and then bring them together and these five no nope, let's just stay there then French is in the game and they will try to attack Paris but I'm not sure they will get it hopefully not there's a lot of panzers but I have no more planes to help look at that how many they have to nutrition because of that and they have to use a lot of ships to get the resources to them I'm not sure how many there will still be in, a, in this situation that's the red when it's uh, s surrounded they're actually okay you can see that they have to bring in all the troops there to attack They are getting ready and moving back and moving back there too. Have to go all the way around. They cannot help. And they are actually taking Persia. That they are also did that actually in the game in the real world. Exchange. Have to move. Oh look at that. Have to move a lot of the units. But now they can make that breakthrough also. Defenders loses. I actually lost that. I do not have any more planes, but they are gonna lose a lot there, and they're doing that as I did, and also there. This is one to one, and attackers lost all. That was a really blow for them exploration they have to attack they cannot do anything not attacking Paris no they did not then Richie France has to be made because they could not do this they could not take Paris so I can put in Richie France forces in Marseille there we go and then we have a ship there and then we got Leon and that is Vichy France and that's England they have to bring in the troops I lost a little bit they just use a lot to attack the Germans but we also get a little points from Italy to get enough forces next time and look at that Russia has no more troops they're using all of them and they're ready now with attacking or giving units to do this but why is there still French units they are I'm not sure if you have French units down in uh, Africa I just have to make sure but they are not enemies anymore and then we have Germany here again 
I will just show Western. I will not do anything in Western now. I have to have Mediterranean offense and attrition and attrition. Why not in the West? Because I need to be ready in the in the Eastern and Mediterranean and Denmark to take Denmark next time. So I just do that. Exit and attrition, attrition, and then offense in Mediterranean. I need that. That's why I need the course. They can only do what Germany can do. And you can actually attack. Let's let wait. We could actually attack with just Italian forces. They hurt a bit. Well, no, let's just wait. We are in time anyway. You can see here. There's a British force there. There's also a British here. Calais, they cannot do anything there. There we go. still have these two here to protect maybe I should just have one no let's do that Good, get five there. One, two, three, four, we got that. That's good enough. Just stay with that. One, two, three, four, no. One, two. We cannot reach that. Even if I wanted to. No, let's just stay there. And these troops are... Look at this. One, two, three. 
and we got destroyed at least five will be able to bring that in how many troops do they have? only one think that's no problem here now we're not getting it because they are surrendering so that's not a problem maybe I can do this let's just stay there Now you can see the difference, Axe total, Allied total, but just a matter of time. Okay, wait a minute. I think we can actually bring them into the battle. Of course, that's one, two, three. That's not bad. Let's exit the movement, and I will actually stop here. I will just save the game now, and then we'll take that from the next time, and take the combat, and what's going on. That's not that much combat. It's only down in the um, in the Mediterranean there. So um, maybe also the English troops. Let's see what we can do. But I cannot do that normally because it's only attrition. It's only normal a fight down in the down in Africa. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.